Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahushai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahushai, Call Halah, Allah, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Raka Kadash. Okay? Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai, that's the name of the beloved Son of the Heavenly Father. Bashim Raka Kadash, which means the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and who assess his truth. Shalom wa barakim la bakarim. All right, and that means peace and blessings to the elect. All right, and I'm gonna start with uh, Zephaniah, the third chapter in the fifth verse. It says, "The just Lord is in the midst thereof; he will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light; he faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame." All right, and who is the just Lord? Okay, the just Lord is our power, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, the, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the, 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 the God of the Israelites. Okay, and he's just. All right, meaning that everything that you see go out, the evil that goes forth, okay, there's a reason for it. Okay, it's judgment from the Heavenly Father. All right, punishing uh, the wicked. It says every morning doth he bring his judgment to light, man. Meaning judgment is going forth every morning, man. That's why you see people getting shot and killed. That's why you see people being diagnosed with uh, different illnesses and diseases. Okay? The list goes on and on, so on and so forth. That's the Lord, Yahweh Shin Yahweh Shai, bringing that judgment. It says he faileth not. It says, but the unjust, no, no shame. Even though the Lord is jacking mainly our people, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, even though the Lord is jacking our people up, okay, with judgment, it says the unjust, no, no shame, meaning the faithless are still going to continue to go in the in the way of evil, man. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this word for judgment. All right. The Hebrew word for judgment is mashapanata, mashapat, mashapat. All right, and it just means judgment, justice, ordinance. All right, see, the Lord is is uh, ha has a thing called justice. All right, unlike the wicked. All right, and that's why all the evil is about to come forth on the earth right now. Okay, the Lord is about to bring forth great evil to the planet Earth. All right, because of the wickedness that's been going forth. Okay. This is 2nd Ezra's uh, Salakia. This is 2nd Ezra's chapter uh, 15. And I'll start from the verse, first verse. All right. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I'll put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Okay. And what is the prophecy in which that we're mainly bringing out to our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. It says, Alas, for that day is great. Okay, this day that is coming is a great day. Another title for the day that is coming is Judgment Day. All right, great judgment, great evil is coming to the planet Earth, and it's direct to it's directed towards the people of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, Jeremiah thirty and seven it says, "Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it." All right, there hasn't been a, a time of evil like the day that we're entering into. All right, and we already see. Um, great evil going forth Okay, but everything that you see now And everything that has happened in the past Is not comparable to what is about to come forth Onto the planet earth, man Okay, World War 3 Okay, martial law on the streets Okay, race rights Neighbors killing each other Alright, mother and, and, and daughter Fighting with one another Trying to kill one another Father and son, alright uh, Family members eating their own children This is the evil that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is about to bring out, man. It says, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. All right, but the elect is going to be saved out of it, which is a very small remnant. Okay? But trouble times is coming. And that's why the Lord said, I'll read verse 1 again, 2 Nehemiah 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. That's why the Lord has his men out warning the people. B times, man. All right. How about Shin Shai? See, this is why the Lord is a just power because way in advance, way before he brings the evil out, 
what he lets the people know, man. All right, he lets the people know. This is Jeremiah chapter 28 and 8. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, man. All right, so the prophets back in their lots now, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, are out warning the people, all right, of, of what? War, all right, the destruction of America, great evil and pestilence that's about to hit the land, okay? This is Jeremiah uh, chapter 4, verse 19. My bowels, my bowels, I am pained at my very heart. My heart maketh a noise in me. I cannot hold my peace. Because thou hast heard, O oh my soul, the sound of the trumpet, the alarm of war, man. That's why another scripture said, I have watchmen that will not hold their peace day or night, man. All right, because the watchmen, those that have the eyes to see, all right, we see clearly, all right, the evil that's about to come. Even though right now, everything looks like it's going, everything's fine and dandy and everything's going all right. All right, we know with a certainty, all right, because the faith which Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shah has given us, what, that war and evil is coming to the planet Earth, man. So that's why we can't keep silent. That's why we have to constantly sound that alarm. All right. And matter of fact, let's get that too. This is Joel chapter two, verse one. All right. It says, blow you the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. And that's what we're doing, man. Because these other nations, so-called Chinese, so-called white, so-called African, the all right, Moab, Edom, Ham, so on and so forth. All these other heathen nations, the heavenly father, to care less about they're completely irrelevant okay they're the they're their whole all the only good that will come to a heathen is what slavery death or slavery that's the only thing coming to these heathens man our bar our people the lord so loved our our nation that he stretched forth his hand and opened up uh immortality to us all right he he, he gave us a way out of it because we read in jeremiah 30 said what but he shall be saved out of it that small remnant all right, still has hope, man. So that's why we got to constantly blow the trumpet in Zion. All right, it says, blow you the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh for it is nigh at hand. All right, judgment, the day of judgment, the day of the Lord. All right, it cometh, it is nigh at hand. All right, and how much closer is the day of the Lord now than when Joel wrote this, wrote this verse, man? It said it is nigh at hand. So how much closer are we to it now, man? Okay. It says, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, man. People are supposed to be shaking right now. All right. Seeing all the prophecies come to pass. All right. Second is the ninth chapter. Matthew, the 24 chapter. It goes into what? The signs of the Lord's coming. Earthquakes, uproars of the people, wars, rumors of war. All right. We've seen all these things um, heighten more and more and more as each day goes by man seeing all these things we're all supposed to be trembling like how about shin is about to make it make him make his name known he's about to make his presence known man. he's about to uh come in a, a glorious fashion man which is very fearful and that's not a good thing for the for the multitude for the majority of people on the earth that's only a good thing for those that are, are doing what's pleasing unto the lord those that are signed and crying, those that are giving their body as a living sacrifice, man. All right. Verse two, it says a day of darkness and of gloominess. This is what the Lord is coming to bring, man. A day of darkness and gloominess, man. It says a day of clouds and thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong that have not been ever to like. And now this is going to, to the missiles, man. There's never been anything like these thermonuclear missiles, man. All right. We saw what happened in Japan when the atomic missiles were dropped, okay? The Ammonites are still being affected to this day in 2019. But the nuclear missiles make those atomic missiles look like a joke, man. And pursuing the revelation, there's uh, 200 million of them. All right? It says 200,000, thousand, if I'm not mistaken. All right? So, let's see. It says, they have not been ever to like, man, there's... The destruction that's coming to America and this earth, there's never been anything like it. The scriptures say what? That the earth is going to reel uh, to and fro like a drunkard. The, 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 the destruction is going to be so devastating that the earth is going to actually move around. All right. 
It says, uh, neither shall be any more after it. Because there's not going to be no war again after this. There's not going to be a war that uh, surpassed World War Three. This is it. It says, even to the years of many generations. It says, a fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. See, look, it's going into the missiles. All right, it says a fire that propels it, and then the power in the actual warhead, a fire in the warhead that's, that does the damage. All right, it says the land is as the Garden of Eden before them. Right now, the land is as the Garden of Eden. All right, everything is, all the structures and the buildings are up. All the people are walking around eating, okay, getting lost in their own little world, their own little life that they think is uh, important, okay? Not knowing that it's coming to an end. Yeah, how about you know, should I said, what, it's coming to an end, man. We're reading it right here. It says, the land is as the Garden of Eden before them. And that's why we started off with Zephaniah 3 and 5, man. It says, the unjust, no, no shame, man. Even though the Lord is bringing forth all this judgment every single day, making it known that he's about to come and destroy this place, the wicked still are set in their ways, man, still caught up in their own vain life, all right, and not seeking after the Lord, man, all right? And the penalty of that is death. It says what? It says it is as the Garden of Eden before them and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them, all right? Nothing's going to escape this devastation unless you help by Shinyal Shai. Delivers you into those chariots Everything out here is going to be destroyed man. That's why it says in Peter's That what The elements are going to melt with the fervent heat man. Everything's going to be done away with man. Alright It's 2nd Edges chapter 15 Verse 2 It says and cause them to be written in paper For they are faithful and true And we're reading the faithful and true writings Alright That is written in the holy scriptures The prophecies Alright of the destruction to come it says, fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity, incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Incredulity means unbelief, man. Just because the majority of our people don't believe in the Lord and doesn't believe in what the Lord said is going to come to pass, we can't let that shake up our faith, man. We got to stand firm upon what Yahweh Bashim Yahushai said, man. Because we read in verse 2 that these words are faithful and they're true, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is faithful, man. Everything that he said is going to come to pass, man. We had to, we had to count on that, man. Verse 4, it says, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. And we're going to watch all these people die, man. It says, and in Psalms 91, it says, A thousand shall fall at that uh, right hand and on that, on, by that side and ten thousand at that right, right hand. All right, we're going to see a lot of people die, man. Because what? They were unfaithful. It said, and this is to, to, to the nation of Israel, man. We're going to see a lot of two-thirds die. The heathens have no hope, man. There's no need to even uh, say, oh, the heathens are going to die. We're going to see heathens die. The, I'm talking about our own people, man. These words of prophecy, like it says in verse 1, Behold, speak down the ears of my people. The words of prophecy. These words of prophecy are unto the people. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You're the only people that matter. You're the only people that are relevant in this earth. All right? And two-thirds of them are going to be cut off and die. And a third is going to actually hearken unto the voice of the Lord and be delivered, man. Verse 5 says, Behold, saith the Lord, I'll bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. That's what the Lord is going to bring. Plagues, great evil. All right? Uh, time after time. All right? Here, uh, there, and the book of Jeremiah, book of... All throughout the scriptures, the Lord is talking about what? The plagues that he's about to let loose. That hasn't happened yet. And this is the reason why. Verse 6, it says, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. All right, so the Lord is done with allowing all this wickedness to continue to go on. Revelations 18 says what? The sins have reached unto heaven. So the Lord, Yahweh Shin Yahweh Shai, okay, he, he's done being silent. He's about to judge the earth, all right, for its wickedness. All right, and I'm going to end it right there. Lord's will is an edifying video. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakah Kadash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right, double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone who rule well and who assize this truth. Shalom wa barakim la habakarim, which means peace and blessings to the elect. All right, and the sincere out there that truly believes in this message. All right, shalom.